Hey there, today I'm going to go through how to use the camera and some of the cool new item frame features for Minecraft Education Edition. Alright, so first things first, this is kind of just a basic how to use the camera and what we can do with those photos. We'll have separate videos on exactly how to use the portfolio and how to use the book and quill, which is also where our camera comes up. So the first things first to get started with this is that what we want to do is we need it we need to access a few things. So we're going to pull them from the inventory. So we hit E on our keyboard and we want a camera. So we're going to grab that one first. And we also want a portfolio. So this guy here. So we put that one in. And for this one, because I'm going to show you some of the new features that you can do with Minecraft Education Edition. We also want something called an item frame. We're actually going to grab both of these. So there's two. There's an item frame and a glow item frame. So let's grab those and pop them in. <clears throat> so obviously, camera, we need to take photos. Now, there's two options here with photos. Is that I've got the camera. One in my hotbar, I can choose to place it down. And it kind of just sits there on the ground. Now, because I've placed it right in front of me. But obviously, what it's going to do is going to take a photo of everything behind me. And quite often we'll see students do this because they also want to be in the photo. So I might, you know, choose to click it. So we right click it and it starts to flash and I'm going to stand there and there it is. My photo is taken. Equally, you don't have to place it on the ground if I'm just standing. So let's say, um, <clears throat> let's go over here and I wanted a photo of this house. So I can just stand there and then if you're on an iPad that you tap and hold or if you're using your computer, you right click and hold. And then you'll see kind of those black lines that come in to make the kind of like that cinematic mode. And then you release and it takes a photo. Now they're Polaroid, so you don't get the full screen. You're going to get like a, a perfect square. So our photos are taken. And one of the big things is always, well, where do my photos go? Your photos live in the portfolio. So like old school photo albums. So we already grabbed the portfolio before. So we're going to hit two there. And then I'm going to open up the portfolio and there are my two photos. Now, <clears throat> there's other things here we can do with the portfolio, but as I said, separate. Well, there's a separate video on how to use the portfolio. What we're interested in today is, well, how do I, what else can I do with these photos that aren't related around the portfolio or the book and quill? And so what you can do now is you can come here and you can click on this option to put it in your hotbar. So if you'll see down on my hotbar, it's item number five is a photo. And if I go back to my portfolio again, I can grab this photo as well. So now I've got two of them in there. <clears throat> now you might notice I've got a couple little item frames here already. I'm going to do that again. So this is what we, how we can display those photos. We can come up here. I'm going to put an, uh, that's just a standard item frame. And then this is a glow item frame. So there are our two types and then we can come to our photos. Now, before I put them up, if I just kind of stand back and I right click, um, so then what we can do is we can come up here and then I can right click on this item frame and my picture comes in. Okay. And I can come up to the top here as well and right click and that photo has come in as well. And so if I want to do, I've just got these here. So I want to show you like side by side comparisons. I'm going to put that one there and that one there. So exactly the same. And then here, there and there. So this is where the glow item frame and the item frame is going to make sense is I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to make it nighttime. And now if I come over, we can see the difference is that um, basically like it's like they're backlit. So I can still see those photos at night. So these two are exactly the same on the right hand side. So you can see how it's a bit harder to see one than the other. So there are two really cool features. So this is kind of particularly quite cool for students who might be, you know, you might have a, a wall, which is um, like a wall portfolio or, or something and they might build, but they've just got to come back here and um, include all of their photos. And then all of that is in one space. Um, or 
it might be like a scavenger hunt and you want them to have clues and those clues are photos and we've got to keep coming back to this space and looking for those clues i think the coolest one i've seen is actually someone's managed to take exact photos and you have to like piece it all together a little bit like a puzzle um anyway i hope you found that super useful have lots of fun with the camera in minecraft and we will see you again soon cheers